We have a, uh, a six millimeter thick uh, armor plate on the bottom of the car, and it actually punched through that, that armor plate um, and into the, the battery pack and crushed uh, several, several of the battery cells. It took several minutes, but eventually those, those cells caught fire and uh, a, a few of the modules of the battery pack burnt. Um, so that's, that's what happened. Uh, but the driver was able to pull over to the side of the road, get out and call the fire department and there, there were no injuries or anything. And, oh, and I should point out he's bought another Model S. Okay. Committed customer. Martin Vinterkorn, who, who knows a bit about making cars, being the boss of VW, said he was startled. Those are the words he, that was the word he used, startled by the fire. Uh, why why well, do you think he was startled? I don't know because uh, VW has thousands of car fires every year. He's investing a lot of money in this technology. He says his is safe. He, uh, again, I don't know what the implication of that is. I mean, BMW literally has several thousand fires every year in their cars. BMW, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I'm not sure why he'd be startled by one in an electric car. A lithium ion has been a subject of discussion this year for obvious reasons with, with the Boeing story. Do you think that you are going to get extra scrutiny as a result of the technology that's being used? Like clearly, you're not a dreamliner, no. you're not flying up at, at 37,000 no, feet, I, but nevertheless, do you, think, yeah. do you think the technology is, is more in the spotlight now than it probably has ever been in the evolution well, of the product? It, you know, whenever you've got a new technology, there's always more attention paid to it than, than current technology, and the standard of safety is higher for a new technology than for an existing technology. The issue with the Boeing uh, lithium ion pack was, was not that it caught fire, but that it spontaneously caught fire for no reason. Um, yep. That's Probably the was issue. Yeah, well, there was a reason. Yeah, but it wasn't as though there was a crash or yep. somebody shot it or anything like that. It was doing. It was just in a normal flight, and it just caught fire. Um, so, you know, in our case. It, it, it was hit by a large piece of metal at high speed. Um, and if that were to have, say, punctured a gasoline tank or gasoline supply lines, the car would have been in a conflagration. It would have been, it would have burnt to the ground.